Hello, what's your name? Welcome back to the railway, and today we're going to be doing a Batman Torrance review. Hope you enjoy the video, and let's get this review started then. So, yeah, today, guys, before I show the model, if you're wondering why you're actually in a different place today, it's because I've got, a, well, my Alas got me a taller tripod with the ring light on it. And I can prove that right now because it's my old one. So, I'm open with this new camera that I don't like getting my phone constantly falling over it and, you know, stuff like that. But, it's not about this today, it's about what model I've got right here, right now. And as you can see, it's none other than the Batman Daisy. If we can get that in shot, right, there we go. Um, and like I said before, I've been waiting three years for the Batman Daisy to actually come out. Um, you know, it was announced 2020, 2019, I think it was announced. Um, and it's took them three years to make it. I mean, I understand that it's a new molding and whatever else, but the fact is, we've got it now, so let's get out the packaging then. <laughs> I mean, another thing I really like, guys, is the fact that um, the package has got like a double layer on it, so if I show you what I mean, so that, that's a pretty neat idea. So first things first then, is we're going to look at the instructions. Now if I remember correctly, I think Daisy does need running in before you put anything behind her. But then again, I probably won't put anything behind her anyway. Um, so let's see what all this is about. I think this is sort of about one so. Yeah, I think that's sort of an answer, so I won't worry about that. And I have had Daisy running as well, as well guys, and she's, be, she's a very smooth runner. Yeah, lubrication, breaking period. Right, that's one thing I don't get. Why does it say smoke unit around where my finger is? Da Daisy can't have smoke because she's not steam engine. But anyway, enough of that malarkey, and as you can see, there's one parts for Daisy, which, she's a really good model, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, so far, I've not had one problem with my Batman Daisy. Um, but, saying that, I don't need to get my laptop on the phone in, so... So I took out the tray and as you can see here she is. And the the first thing I noticed is that she's quite heavy. I'm not calling her fat or anything. But um she's quite heavy. Um but obviously I'm not really bothered about that. But I'm just trying to get my lap laptop from phone so I can tell you a bit of history about Daisy. The diesel rail car. But yeah, I mean, I've not really got any complaints about it. I know that a lot of people don't like the fact that the windows have been blocked out, if you look. But I'll probably get more into that on the details here later on. Right, let's get this one. Well, I'm just waiting until the laptop connects to some guys. But yeah, I'm, I'm, and you know, I've got a new haircut as well, I've got a new t-shirt on. <laughs> but yeah, um, I will put a link for Daisy in the description as well, guys. So if you want one, pick yourself one up now, because honest to God, right, on Sunday when I got my money, I had to act really fast when it came out. Um, because all it takes is for one look, and the next thing you know, there's none in stock, and I nearly enough had that problem 
I was thinking just working out, I forgot about that to be honest with you. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, so we've got some stuff here. That's stupid that's to come up. No, I was just trying to read it, thank you for that. Uh, do, 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 do. So a first appearance was Branch Line Engines, I think that's the American title, but I think it was um, Daisy for the UK title. And then the last appearance was... Thomas and the Invention, it was sort of at the workshop. I was trying to see when, when she was built, because it doesn't usually say. Ah, and a, a, a base of a real life uh, counterpart is a BR Class 101. So I'm going to try and get one of those so I can do the Daisy versus real life um, like type of video. And obviously, you know, she's a Bobo. So the year she arrived on Sodor was 1960. That's when she must have been built, I'm guessing. Yeah, so... That, that's the uh, history about Daisy. Now, I'm going to take you up onto the uh, detail table and I'm going to show you some of the details. Because some of the details are really, really beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you up on the detail get table, guys. And I'll talk to you a bit. Uh, I'll talk to you a bit, guys. Right then guys, so as you can see, Daisy's down onto the detail table, or on the detail table. Um, the first thing I've got to say is, they've got the face really spot on, if I bring you up closely for you. They've got the face spot on to the CGI series, which I think that's what they were mainly going for. I mean, even down to some of the lining is done really beautiful on this model. Um, you know, I've, as far as I'm aware, on mine, I've not found one smidge or anything like that on my model. Now, I'm just going to show you some of it. I'm sorry that may I was getting get in, in the way, guys. But I just want to show you some of what I noticed with this Daisy. As when, obviously, when I got her. <clears throat> and it's some of what's bugged the hell out of me. I'm not even kidding, guys. Right, I'm just seeing if I can find it. Bingo. Right then, so obviously you remember a couple of months back where um, when I did the review on the uh, Backman Orange James and honest to God, right, guys, that, that video, thank you so much for the views and whatnot. Right, there we go. But it's like with Daisy, right? They've actually gone the extra mile and not just put, put one 3D lamp on her, but they put like well, one, two, three, four, five. They put five on it. But if I show you a picture of the Origins James, as you can see, look, because obviously I fixed mine, that's what the Origins James version looks like with the painted lamp on the back. So, obviously with James being an older tooling for Backman, I think it's load of rubbish that the fact that Backman couldn't be bothered to, you know, put a brand new lamp on the James model. Like, all it takes is to drill a little hole in the tender and, like I said in the video, the video of the James, um, all it took was to put a drill a hole in the tender and then there you go you've got a lamp but they've actually gone the extra mile with daisy 
to actually fit the lamps and I think that's a really nice touch to be honest with you guys because I thought when I got this or, or when it got announced sorry I thought there's no way in hell that they're gonna actually give us lamps but obviously I was proven wrong and obviously with this model you don't get spoon buffers but they are painted white as in the TV series and I've just thought of another thing as well who is who are these models actually aimed at? I know some trains obviously talks about that. But who is the Daisy as well as Ryan and whoever else actually aimed at? Because they can't be aimed at kids because of the way the show is nowadays. But at the same time, it's a really good quality model. So it just begs the question, who is Mattel or Bachman actually aiming the... Locomotives towards. I'm just gonna get rid of this picture, guys, because I'm done with my laptop now. But um, I'm not criticizing the the Batman Daisy. Don't don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful model. I really do love love it when she goes around the layout. She's smooth as as out. So that's the next step actually, because obviously you got the front couplers back and front. Now I'll be honest with you, right, guys. I was actually considering taking this front coupler off. Uh, because obviously you don't see a shunting, right, shunting in the actual series, do you? But, honest to God, I'm I'm actually uncertain about doing that now. Uh, because, obviously, you know. So, now we're going to get this up into layout. I'm going to wait, but I'm going to do that off camera. And then I'll tell you how much it weighs when we get this close, when we get a one layout. Alright, that's all for me, guys. Right then, guys, so I just weighed her, um, and she weighs at 268 pounds, well, kilograms, I think. So that's not really bad for the Batman days, it's fair to I mean, I'm going to say this now, I think with Batman, they are actually starting to improve on their, on their models, because I have noticed more and more of them actually looking like the CGI counterparts now. Um, and I think that's really good, especially if they targeting towards like children or adults or whatever. In fact I want to try something guys, I want to see if this actually changes anything. Like the brightness or anything. Well it does as well. I'll just turn the uh, ring light on guys and, and it does actually make a massive difference. But anyway guys I'm gonna see what she's like with slow speeds. I'm just checking to see if my arm's not going to get in the way. Right so I'll just turn it up. As you can see, look, the slow speed are brilliant on the Batman Daisy, guys. Let's see what she's like in reverse. I mean, I know that it's said about, you know, running her in and everything like that, but I don't think I'll have to do that because I don't think I'll be hooking anything up to her. Unless I do, like, an episode where she actually has to pull some out. But straight out of the box, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful runner. So, um, we're gonna get her up and running now. Um, I can guarantee that something's gonna go wrong, but because it always does my record. So, we're gonna get Daisy up and running. And I'm gonna run to what I haven't actually run in quite some time. And it's the Batman, Percy and Toby. Um, I just thought to myself, you know, so let's get those two open running and I hope you enjoy the running session. Make it April Daisy. Wait. I thought, yeah, I thought it was so pretty Daisy. Sorry guys, that's fair to say. That's so good. That's like Oh damn. I'm there like an idiot guys, turning the full tripod in to actually turn it. There you go. Michael Daisy. And Percy at the same time actually. I'd like to try and have a race with each other, but I'm a bomb if they are. But saying that though, it is actually kind of nice to see Daisy and Percy running side by side near enough. I mean, Daisy's a beautiful model. Oh, I didn't show the eyes moving back in the mold, did I? I'll show you, I'll show you that when I do the spell back you guys, I just thought. Yeah, I'll do that for you. But yeah, as you can see, great, great Percy. Right, I'm going to say this now. I know what people are going to ask me why my Percy got the Hornby face on it at the minute. 
is because I actually accidentally broke my piercing with the eye mechanism because so it was just sticking in one area and clicking back into place. So I just took the eye mechanism out. I actually found out that I accidentally screwed the eye, the face of the uh, eye mechanism. So I took the face off because obviously I, I put a front cover on it. Uh, I took the face off and I just bobbed the hood on the wall on it for now and so I can get some more faces from straight ways. But yeah, Days is a beautiful one. I mean, all I can say, Batman has definitely delivered with the Batman Days, you guys. Because, honestly, God, like, I thought Batman Days, they were, they were going to just, like, you know, pop the sheep out and not give us what we wanted. But it seems to me like Batman has like, have actually listened to the fan, the fan, not just the fan base, but the customers as well. Who so buys the products? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that person playing Annie and Clover, and so he's playing Henrietta. Forgot to mention about that. I'm kind of doing the uh, thing, thing where someone has to go and be mended. I think that, like, I really think of the time where someone's actually met Daisy. Ow. Uh, for some reason, first stops. I'm back in a minute. Come on, person. Oh, yeah. Alright, everything's back up and running again, guys. But, yeah, I mean, as much as I do love the uh, bat a lot, they've real nailed it with Daisy. I mean, she's quiet. Obviously, I will show you how quiet she actually is but she's a really smooth runner as well but yeah guys like I said if you, if you want one of these I will include a link in the description below on the Apple's person's uh, days again I'll give them one more lap each and then they, we can do the scores Right, in fact, Percy, you can stop at the station and drop off some more passengers and tell this video up. You can stop there. Right then, Daisy, you can stop there. Right then, so the scores for the Backman Daisy. Right, detail. I would definitely give that about a 4 out of 5. I know it might sound harsh, but it's not really made to have detail on it if you know what I'm saying. Um, performance, I would definitely give a performance 5 out of 5 because, you know, the performance from the Batman Daisy is incredible at the minute. Um, character, ten, I mean, 5 out of 5 because this, they've got the characters spot on, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't know what other people will think if they've never watched the CGI scenes, but obviously because I'm a diehard Thomas fan, um, I do really think that Daisy look, looks more like the CGI series. Um, that quality, 5 out of 5 again, because so far, nothing has dropped off her at all. And I do really applaud Bachman for doing that. Um, what else was there? Power, I don't really know. Well, obviously for 240 kilograms, 60 odd kilograms. I don't really know how much that is to how many coaches that is. Uh but I've had to pull in in Clarabelle, not a problem. I had to pull in a few trucks and whatnot, not a problem. So I'll give, definitely give that about a four out of five because I'm not quite sure. Um value for money. Now to say it's ninety quid off to Thomas, I would give that about a five out of five because that's not a bad price for a diesel rail car like Daisy uh, but then if you go to the Bachman website they're going for like $168 which I think is ridiculous to be honest with you I mean thank god we have actually got like uh, retailers like Train World, Tootley Thomas, Soyuz Models and so on <clears throat> but again like I said Daisy is a really beautiful model because I have not had more problems with her uh, I think that's about it. But anyway, I'm going to show you her eyes moving and how smooth she is as well. So I'm going to just run her back. And as you can see there, it moves, her eyes are just that to the other side. So I'm just going to run her now. 
See what I mean? As, as you can see, the Ryans do move backwards and forwards. And like I said, this is a model I'm definitely not doing any mods on. Weathering or whatever, because she's, she's just a beautiful model. Yeah, as you can see, guys, you can actually see the eyes darting backwards and forwards. So, we're going to continue a bit more with the, with the running session. So, we're going to get Daisy up and running. We're going to get Percy. Last but not least. So, okay. So, yeah, if, let me know your opinion, guys. What you think about the uh, Batman Daisy? Let's continue to go to Aubrey. Hmm. Oh, that person. I was just looking for him. That's easy again. Started the video today. <laughs> I'm just looking for him. Oh, that's easy. Okay, we'll give him a lap one more off or something and then down the third account that one I think. Watch the game. But yeah, Days is a really beautiful model. I can highly recommend her. Um, especially if you're doing like remakes and whatnot, because I know a lot of people like to do remakes and a lot of people have actually done pardon me, a lot of remakes since Daisy has come out. Mainly the classic ones. So we'll stop to all day. Stop to person and we'll stop Daisy. Well then guys, I'm gonna flip the camera back around and I thank you for watching. Alright then, I'll talk to you a bit guys. Well then guys, uh, thank you for watching the video today. Um, I've really enjoyed reviewing the Batman days, even having a uh, in my collection, because now I've actually reached 50 locomotives, um, which I can't believe, and then plus with Engage, I've got 53 altogether. Um, but like I said guys, the Batman days, it's just a beautiful model to have. Um, even if you don't like the CGI series, you have to get this model because there's not really much I can really complain about with the Batman days, to be honest with you. She's a good runner, um, you know, they've got all wheel pickups, which I got really lucky into the mechanism of these because obviously I don't want to mess anything up. Um, but on top of that, she's a fantastic model and I kind of highly recommend her. Absolutely. Especially if you're a massive Thomas fan like I am. Um I can highly recommend her for you know, young youngsters out there. Even if you're an adult collector of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, I can highly recommend this model to you. Um I haven't really got much else to say other than I really love this model. Um what else was I gonna say? Yeah, I last got me this tripod. Um, it's got a ring light on it. I know people are going to be like, oh, but you use those for makeup tutorials and stuff like that, but you don't have to necessarily. I mean, it's the same, for instance, right, if I was in the dark, right, and I want to do a video in the dark, I can actually do it now. Because all you have to do is, there's like a little switch down here to turn it on. And, that, and as you can see in the, behind me, it's reflecting off that glass. Shoot, I'm... I just realised that, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you can't see it because I'm a big head. <laughs> um, but that's what I'm saying, guys. Um, the Batman Daisy, I can highly recommend her. She's a fantastic runner. She's a fantastic model. I mean, if you've got 90 quid, go for it. Because you will not regret it, trust me. I have not regretted paying 90 quid for this. Uh, because she's a beautiful runner. And I'm hoping, once I've got my layout all done, and the points set up and etc, I do hope to do some more remakes one day. I mean, people have asked me, are you going to be doing more remakes one day? I'm like, yes, because my layout's not completely done. I mean, I need to get point motors, and I'm still struggling what point motors to use. Um, you know, signals, because I know you can get working signals out from Dapple what towers you know you name it i want to like you know make my layout more lively rather than just a dull layout with nothing working you know what i mean 
Uh, but I really enjoyed this video, guys, and I do apologise again that Natural Station isn't finished. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I had to take it up because uh, my trains were just running into the platform and smacking off it and derailing. Because I didn't like clear enough room between the layout, like the track and the platform. So I'm going to have to redo that and I'm definitely going to get my, my backside to do that. Uh, but other than that guys, I haven't got much else to say other than thank you for watching this video today. Please subscribe to my channel. Please comment down below what you thought of the Batman days because it's just a beautiful model. you got to agree. And I guess I'll see you Sunday with another review and it is a train set review. I'm not going to say which one it is though because obviously you'll find out Sunday. Uh, but I haven't really got much else to say other than thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you later. And have a lovely day because it's actually quite sunny out today. And I'll guess I'll see you on Sunday with that train set video. Alright, that's all for guys.